it's a problem because it's it goes against everything you were created for as a man, which is to enjoy sex in the bounds of marriage, not mm -hmm. um, indulging in the constant looking at pictures, you know, of women that you don't know, you don't have a connection to. Is there and, a difference between looking at pictures versus like watching something like in motion, like video? Yes, there's a difference. So like obviously pictures and videos different because a picture is an isolated situation whereas a video movie is a, is a progression, right, mm -hmm. of, of whatever act is taking place. But I think at the root of both of them is really the um, what it creates in your mind as a man because literally, you know, I can take a picture, I can take a video, I can take someone who's clothed and what I'm able to do in the playground of the mind is limitless, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's what the issue is, which is ultimately, you know, lust, you know? Mm -hmm. And so uh, when you begin to, to feast on something that literally is not um, real in a sense and not real in the, meaning that the women are real because they're, they're real women with emotions and they're made an image of God but real in the sense that you have no relationship or no, no connection to it mm -hmm. then that's the that's the heart of the issue yeah. Yeah. yeah and they're playing a role so in that regard they're not real right okay. so like so whether it be through picture or video mm -hmm. yeah in, in that regard they are acting or they are mm -hmm. modeling mm -hmm. um but I think, especially in today's world, in the world of um, of pornography, in the sense of your average person mm -hmm. posting something online, yeah, they're being themselves. And you so mean I like think, a Snapchat, Instagram? Absolutely, like, yeah, yeah. So social media, yeah. World. And, and again, you know, so with with the Instagram and Snapchat, it it doesn't necessarily have to be a full on nudity situation mm -hmm. where they're exposing everything. Yeah. But at the heart and the root of the issue, it still feels the same thing. I remember reading once in a book, it talked about how for one of the things that it creates in a man when they look at porn a lot is um, isolating when they see a real woman in person, whether it's someone they're in a relationship or not, they just start to look at her as a collection of body parts, mm -hmm. not a person. Can you speak to that? Yeah, so porn in my experience definitely contributes to you isolating certain parts of a woman right yeah. and then it literally gives you someone describe it as like a, a harem of all different types of women right mm -hmm. um and that's why you know people have the phrase of a fetish like a fetish is a specific type of thing that you like you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying so what you're right what it does is you begin to to, to, comp to compartmentalize um a woman in her totality and then you begin to just focus on her uh, physical being and mm -hmm. so whether she has small breasts or big breasts or a big booty or small booty or you know and not, not to be you know super graphic or whatever but just keeping it real um there is a a platter of which you can you can choose from so yeah so when you when you partake of that there is a switch that goes off in your mind where you no longer look at the total person mm -hmm. um and really in some ways it deadens you to the emotional spiritual um human part of mm -hmm. um, of the female that God has created in his image. So And so that's what we mean when we talk about objectifying women. That, that's exactly You've right. literally right. turned a human being into an object yeah. for your sexual pleasure. Absolutely. And so I've heard it also said that uh, with pornography, because now you really lack empathy and sensitivity because you don't view a woman as a person, you view them as an object, mm -hmm. it causes you to be able to, in essence, um, they're disposable in a way, mm -hmm. um, the way objects are, and you devalue women and people in general, like even the way you might view other men. I've heard it said like that, like, crazy high statistics of people who are in prison who've committed violent crimes are addicted to pornography because there's that um, lack of empathy, that sense of like deviance and perversion that can filter into gun violence and other forms of violence that don't seem outwardly sexual, right. but are sort of tied to maybe, um, you know, just that over time breaking down of the ability to to empathize. Yeah, and yeah. see people as people. Yeah.
And I think a lot of times people don't make that connection. What do you What do you think of that? Yeah. So, like, if you look at situations like I don't think Ted Bundy or Jeffrey Dahmer, and these are super extreme cases where like they're actually killing people mm -hmm. because they have a lack of uh, their their sociopaths, right? Mm -hmm. So they, they have a lack of empathy. Um, yeah, like that. There have been direct correlations to mass murderers, serial killers, and their partaking of pornography. You know, mm -hmm. or um, in more extreme cases, especially you know with pedophilia, they're like they all have their root causes of um, a man being dead into his ability to see a person for a person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, if I don't see a child as being just sweet and sensitive and fragile mm -hmm. and, and all that, when I when I remove those things from their innocence, et cetera, et cetera, mm -hmm. when I remove those things, um, of course, one is able to abuse them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because it's like your 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 purpose is to satisfy it's you to satisfy sexually. Me. Absolutely. So not just even about male female, right. about man man, woman woman, child man. It's like right. a totality of sexual perversion right. and the spectrum of it. Exactly. And even what to one person may seem like that's abnormal, that's mm -hmm. whatever. Um, can you speak to some of these spiritual elements? Because I think there's a lot of things that an undercurrent of. Yeah. Um, you know, spirituality to this that some people might not yeah, you know, yeah. be aware of. What What is your yes? Yeah, so, yeah, the the spiritual side is definitely one of. Um...